Hello everyone, welcome to the stream. Today we'll be picking up where I left off yesterday um, on my Delta recruit in the Delta Quadrant arc. So yeah, we're I'm pretty close to maxing this one. So I'm gonna have another maxed tune, which will be fun and all that. Um, yeah, let's get started. Collect our stuff. I don't. Oh, I got something. Did you know that if you refl refract light in an illegal way, they'll send you to a prism? It's okay though, you usually only get a light sentence. Oh, okay, I just. It took me a second to get that. I was like, what? <laughs> That's that's a little funny. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. I got some rank up. Yes, also welcome to the stream. I'm just barely getting started here. Start up some stuff. There we go. I really probably need to recruit more duty officers, honestly. I think I am missing... Yeah, I I don't have... Only 59 out of 100. That's like nothing! Probably start doing some of these too. I forget about them and then I. There we go. It wants like 20 of each. All right, close enough, close enough. So I was trying to figure out why my eyes and nose like burned so much today and also like it kind of started yesterday but it was really bad today um and then I like saw a thing on my computer once I was restarting it and it actually uh worked again for some reason like the taskbar thing was like not working um and so it kept I think it was just that like it crashed because for some reason I sometimes I will open Star Trek online and it will just crash the computer and I don't really know why um but it's really weird it was really weird uh just uh, I need more tactical or no I need more engineering not tactical a little more balanced there we go Oh, that's all our slots. <laughs> Don't have that many. So, all right, we are actually starting off with a patrol, it looks like. I forgot that's where I was left uh, from yesterday. And do reputation. Tier one, here we go. All right, there we go. What did we get? Special requisition pack. Oh, 
I want to save that because I, I got to figure out what I'm doing with this crew first. My inventory is already getting to hoarding levels. This is... This is fine. So we can give them some tribbles, why not? Can have an out of combat heal. <laughs> the only thing tribbles are useful for. Oh, I also think, yes, I can do my daily TFO. That was very fast. All right. Everyone with their cool Terran ships and I'm just here like... <laughs> Drop something. Oh, we got ground plasma damage. We'll see if we'll see if we get that while playing through story today, because we might. me. shape of the ship, my Romulan ship, that I keep calling sexy. <laughs> Hello, welcome everyone who is just filing in now. Um, we have too many people at this one, probably need to go to a different one. Getting the data thieves. I am trying my best. <laughs> if there was a red variant, I'd be ecstatic. Yeah, so, um, I'm not 100% sure, but I need to check, like, I need to check, like, how much you can actually customize the Romulan ships, because I think that, um... I think that you can alter some of the colors, I just don't think you can do, like, the whole thing. But I could be wrong. I know that some ships, like, I get really disappointed because they don't really have, like, option to give us good stripes. And then I'm sad. <laughs> Oh, 
tried adding red designs, but it doesn't look good on green. Yeah, I guess if your base material is green, that does kind of limit limit um, the aesthetics you can pick. I don't know, maybe bring it around for like the winter event, you know, like Christmas red and green. I don't know. <laughs> it's a little cursed, but... <laughs> Some ships have the snake head material. With that, you can make it any color you want. See, yeah, I know there's, like, some ways to get around certain things. I just haven't looked into it too much in the Romulan ships because, like, I feel like I like them in the green for Romulans, specifically. Every other circumstance, I don't really like green, but this way it's okay. <laughs> be close to time to reveal the summer ship. I am very excited for summer event. We are going to have a party for the summer event. <laughs> we'll Why is nobody over at Projector Gamma? Oh my god. <laughs> Everyone went to the station, including me. I blame myself for this. doing um, a patrol for as part of the Delta Quadrant story arc thing. If anyone wants to, by any, by any chance, for whatever reason, join a team for the patrol, could be fun. I know patrols can be kind of annoying, though, so I won't blame you for not wanting to join the fun. <laughs> Your ship has received 200,000 Tetrion damage. How nice for us. Wow, okay. We still have the tractor beam going. What the hell is this? The Enterprise is near Projector Gamma. All right. I was just saying it before, but in my area, the pollen has been abnormally high today, so I am suffering. Did it. You intend to test us. Be prepared for the consequences. Hopefully, I love when listen to that message, but I wouldn't hold you. 
Gremlin mode? I have to go get the thing for gremlin mode. I don't know if I have one in here. Okay, hold on. Let me leave the map, then I'll be back. <laughs> All right, let me, do, let me just let this load. Okay. Here, I'm gonna keep going on my way to my next uh, task while I go find my hoodie so I can engage gremlin mode in just a second. Alright. Hello everyone. I am back. I can't see though. <laughs> okay, I had to find I had to find the hoodie that I could um actually get on with my injured shoulder. So yeah, I think I got I got something in my eyes. Well not something, it's my hair, but there we go. Ish. Okay. <laughs> I was like why this is so funny to me but it is <laughs> just something about like the headphones over the hoodie that really uh really hits different but you know I was like I, I I saw that I had a hoodie over there but um some some of my hoodies cooperative captain oh, all right Oh. To help. Time to time to fight some Voth. Anyway, so I have I had one that was just like over there in the corner. I was like, oh yeah, I'll just go put that on. And I go over there and I realize it's like um some some of my hoodies have like a tighter band at the bottom or in the uh cuffs. And if they're not super stretchy, I can't get it on right now because my shoulder is still like being weird. Like it's weird because I went too fast. Oh. They're where we left them, but they have friends. Kill them. Well, gotta kill the Voth first. But anyway, so it was interesting because I woke up this morning and I was like, wow, my, my shoulder doesn't hurt that bad anymore. But then I realized that uh, it was really stiff. And I was like, all right, it is still not better. It's just uh, slightly better. Um, yeah, we'll see. I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to film something tomorrow. We'll see if it happens. Probably will. If I am careful all of today, I'll probably have the energy to film things tomorrow. Um, that even if they require standing and moving, I should be able to do it. We'll see. Um, yeah, but if I don't film it tomorrow, I'm gonna kind of be screwed because I, I really need to get the footage done because I gotta get things all arranged for the 
online music event thing I'm hosting that is like middle of June, but that includes like all the editing time I have to do for it, so <laughs> sooner is better. Like, I can't wait till next week when my shoulder might be better. This is fine. <laughs> Alright, and then I bet this time. Our situation is quite dire. Life support is failing ship wide. Okay. Thank you. We'll make our way to a Knew that was coming. Like every time we try to help, the Voth are gonna be like, no, you suck. <laughs> Was coming. I knew that was I knew that was next. <laughs> Every time with the Voth or the Borg. I feel like those are the two worst ones. Two more days until the legendary Vesta. God damn it! <laughs> this is what happens when I stop to read chat. My god. I need to definitely be drinking more water today. Because, like I said on Twitter, I was a dumbass. And last night I was eating a. Uh, I was eating a salad with balsamic vinaigrette <laughs> that I made myself. So it has extra balsamic vinegar. Um, and the other ingredients are a significantly lesser portion of the dressing. <laughs> and I accidentally had my salad like swimming in a pool of it. And then I woke up this morning and I was like, huh, my mouth feels kind of weird. Yeah, I think it's because of the vinegar last night that just kind of created these sores in my mouth that burn <laughs> all the time. But I do it again. I love balsamic vinegar so much. It's like my favorite flavoring. Ah, shit. I don't even know what keeps hitting me. Ha, got him. Nice, nice. All right, now for Nav Gamma. You regret nothing? Yeah, I do regret nothing. <laughs> I 
it was worth it for the flavor. Even if it burned. <laughs> Rude, why why you fly on top of me? How quaint. <laughs> God. Fuck. <laughs> I didn't even get that far. <gasps> oh my God. This is fine. Uh-oh. Oh, it's that that I'm flying into. That is the thing that is hurting me. I was hoping that would hold out a little longer. God damn it, no! <laughs> okay, also... <laughs> Gremlin mode is kind of over. <laughs> oh, <sighs> Makes my hair slightly frizzy, but it's fine. I have all these like stray pieces that like feel like they're part of my bangs, but they're not and they're long in my face. <sighs> Love that for me. But I say gremlin mode's kind of over because I'm going to keep the hoodie on because I am too lazy to take it off now. <laughs> need some oh god did you say gremlin mode also hello peace xps welcome <laughs> oh I, I put my i put my hoodie on and that's my gremlin mode but it's over now because i only do it for like uh 10 minutes every time until it gets redeemed again Thirsty comment? What do we want a thirsty comment about? I'm fighting Voth! Oh god. Oh god, no! <gasps> oh. <sighs> yeah, so tell you what- what did you want a thirsty comment on when I'm fighting the Voth? The Voth or like the the Borg over there? The Voth bulwark. Dreadnought does look very lewd. <laughs> wait, wait. I never noticed this. Which is surprising for me that I didn't notice this, but. Oh, you're kind of right. <laughs> Why does it have the second part below it? Oh, you want Thirsty Romulan comment? <laughs> oh, thank you for following! There's so much going on right now, and I'm gonna die again because I'm not paying any attention! <laughs> if I would pay attention, I probably wouldn't die so much, but here we go. Anyway. Um, anyway, this is my tune, which is why, uh... Romulan streams are always the most thirsty because I mean, come on, come on, you know? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. My mind is out of the thirsty zone, but it'll it'll come to me. Death isn't very uh death isn't very uh thirst inducing, but I'll think of one for you. Just give me a minute. 
Imagine chatting and paying attention to this game. I'm convinced it can't be done. Oh no, same. Like, if it's anything that actually requires strategy or paying attention, I absolutely die while I'm talking to chat. God. Anyway, so the Romulans. Since we're already, since we're already dying, might as well full send um, and start my thirst rants for the day. Uh, <laughs> let everyone else do the heavy lifting, except uh, I'm on my own in this thing. <laughs> so I'm kind of screwed. But anyway, um, no, so the... <laughs> I'm just trying to play some storyline, but I forget there's the patrols in the Delta Quadrant and they're sometimes really hard as a single player. God. This build also sucks ass, which does not add to my fun at all. Oh, we might, we might get it. Might get it. Might get it. Oh, just in time. Okay, oh, I still, I never do those patrols, lol. I mean, they're good for, like, getting uh, experience points, like, if you need to level up a ship, though. I'm just, like, uh, I'm just, like, a completionist, so I try to do everything in order. If I'm playing story, like, I'm gonna play through how it's intended to be played. But sometimes that's a mistake. It's, it's a very big mistake. Oh, God. Oh, God, no! This is like death five or six, and I still owe, I still owe Satalia a thirsty comment. Oh my god. Yeah, I've played every mission in order multiple times, but like, I especially commit to it for, uh, like the recruits, because sometimes they have like different little things in them, and I really like that, so, you know. Um, I forgot where I was going, but I had... I had started on a train of thought from my thirsty Romulan comment, but I forget. Maybe I need to look at my tune again. Oh, yeah, also they're matching outfits. <laughs> anyway, Romulans are just really hot. They are one of the hottest uh, Star Trek species, in my opinion. And it's just so easy to make... It's just so easy to make a... Um, sexy tune when you're making a Romulan because they're already hot. Like, you don't have to try. Like, humans, you know, you have to try to make them hot because some humans are not hot, but all Romulans are hot. Well, probably like most Romulans. Like 90, like 99% of Romulans. Jazzy needs a death counter. So, yeah, so I actually, um, I know how to make a death counter. My problem is just that I don't have the attention, like, I barely have the attention span to, uh, pay attention to my game. Um, like, to also have to pay attention to a death counter because you have to manually update them. Uh, yeah, that probably wouldn't happen. <laughs> Unless I, like, did it that anybody could do the command to, um like, increase the death counter, but the impro the problem with that would be that then people could come in and abuse it, and then it wouldn't be accurate anymore. Because, like, y'all gotta remember, I still do get people that come into my stream specifically because they hate me, so that's very unfortunate, but it is what it is. You haven't made a Romulan yet! What are you doing? Romulans are very hot. Yes, we all agree that Romulans are very hot. That's why everybody shows up for the Romulans. Like, it just just look at her. Like, how can you not? How can you not like her? I mean, I don't know. Maybe, maybe if you're simply not attracted to women, but then like, what you doing? You know? <laughs> when you get some mods, they can update the counter. Yeah, that's the problem with. Ah! Technically, I do have mods. They just aren't ever online. Ah! But that's the thing is like if I'm not um if I'm not paying my mods then I can't really like demand that they be online anyway. Um so it is what it is. 
And I can't even afford to pay my mods because I can't even afford to pay myself! <laughs> I only have two Romulans. I only have the one Romulan, but that's all I need. He chose a pack lead instead? I mean, I guess. Okay, we're gonna drop some- oh my god! Please don't die. Please give me the shield. Ha! Still alive! Jazzy can't even afford to pay attention! <laughs> You're right though. You are absolutely right. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, Lord Sepletcher? I don't know, your username is very long and confusing. <laughs> I'm sorry in advance for everyone whose usernames I read completely the wrong way. Oh my god. You take out that cruiser if it don't have an immunity shield. Ha, got him. Got him. Just call me Lord, everyone else does. That is significantly easier to uh, remember and pronounce, so I appreciate that. Oh god. Oh god, no! Not this again! <laughs> I'm gonna die! <laughs> no! Oh, wait, that did something. I am alive! <laughs> but for how long? And at what cost? <laughs> Look, I like to be fun and interactive, but unfortunately that does come at the cost of me playing this game well in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> mm, God. I'm on trouble right now, setting up my hecta to see how much I can squeeze out of it. Nice, nice. Good times. Ooh, we don't, nope, we're not done. We are not done. Ah, here we are. I bet there's probably one Thank more. You for your timely assistance. The, qu the cooperative sure are a fun bunch. Tracking a large force incoming. Preparing to And the rest of them weren't large. At least we have two cubes. Maybe? Alright. Here we go. 
Oh god! It's happening again! <laughs> okay. <sighs> I'm using the two-piece competitive space set, the Disco Warp Core, and the Colony Deflector. Yeah, I, um... I am working on getting my rep higher not on this tune i am not at all like far on any of that like fancy stuff but on my main i'm like getting pretty close and i finally maxed out the omega reputation because i wanted the board set for board aesthetics so yeah i've heard a lot of things specifically about the disco uh warp core to try But because I always care about looks, I'm also trying to do a full uh, temporal set on an Eisenberg to make it all rainbow. <laughs> Your ship has dealt two million Tetrion damage. Excellent. I'm gonna get blasted if I don't move. Oh, that was a solid hit on that last one. Alright. Is that all of them? Hopefully? No more? Have our thanks. Were it not for you and your crew, none of us would have survived. Cool, cool. Now we're done. Ooh, do, do, do. I feel sorry for those who have to grind the Mako space set because they will never know the heartbreak of not getting the piece you needed before the rep system was rolled out. <laughs> yeah, I like completely ignored um, set stuff until I was streaming and then I actually had to care about my builds if I'm playing this game this much. So yeah, I was like very noob territory with certain stuff for a while. And I remember we were gonna uh, convert all of them to some badass plasma weapons. This isn't another patrol, is it? Delta Quadrant is so long. Oh, nope. We are joining the Doctor, which is good. But we still have one more patrol after this. God. Nope, nope. Another patrol. Another patrol. There we go. Fun, isn't it? You wanna know how many runs it took me for each piece of the Mako space set? How many? I was not I was not super uh on the grind back then, so I <laughs> I don't know what was up. Like I've been playing since 2012, but I have not been like grinding since 2012. Uh yeah. The doctor, doctor who. <laughs> as funny as it is, it's not that doctor. <laughs> it's the EMH, I guess, who never decided to name himself still. Some of those patrol missions contain multiple patrols, nine in total. Ugh! Who wants to, who wants to do some patrols? It's faster if there's teamwork. <laughs> we sent him in a little baby type eight shuttle. Pleased to meet you. I scanned your service record before your arrival. You've been in quite a few battles, haven't you? Ever stop to think about the strain you're putting on your medical crew? God. Charge into combat. 
We've been hailing this Ocompan freighter for some time. Why is he sassing me? I know that's his thing, but their initial distress signal. Whatever. Excellent. Your ship has more powerful sensors than my shuttle. Uh oh. I hate this for me. I've been playing since before the third anniversary and right after they went free to play. Yeah, I think 2012, I think, is when they went free to play. Fire out the wrong one that's got me captured. There we go. Because I know, like, before they went free to play, I knew about the game, but, um, since I was a small child, I did not have my own money or anything, so I couldn't just buy the game. And my parents weren't a fan. My parents weren't, um, fans of the subscription model, so... Uh, until they went free to play, I didn't get to, like, play the full game. But I had, like, the little demo tutorial thing, and I played that, like, ten times. <laughs> At least. The Delta Quadrant enemies are just not it. They're just not fun. They're so hard to fight. I started a few months before Victory is Life. I don't remember what year that was. I remember like when it came out, but... I also remember the Foundry. I spent a lot of time in the Foundry, honestly. Like, I am still sad that they got rid of it. <laughs> ah! been playing this game for nine years and still learning yeah no that's how I feel too is like I learn something new every day just because I feel like there's so much to like figure out and discover especially about like certain ships because it's like I only know about the ships that I happen to end up getting and playing and somebody will be like oh no you really want this ship and I'll be like what is that <laughs> it's a time Oh, those mines are gonna get it. Got him. And there's more. I started playing casually in 2019 and seriously in 21. See, my thing is, like, I honestly probably was not, like, super serious about playing until, um, I started streaming it, which would have been, uh late 2020, early 2021. But I, it kind of was like a gradual process towards me getting more serious, I think. Because like, I say it all the time, but like I got super bullied in high school and such for uh, liking Star Trek at all. 
Um, because, yeah, it was fine and cool to like Star Wars, but it was absolutely not okay to like Star Trek because that was a nerd show or something really weird like that. It was very strange, and it made me have like a lot of resentment for, uh, damn it, <laughs> for Star Wars and the Star Wars fandom just because like people were so fucking rude about it. Um, but, yeah. So, you know... But yeah, now I play, like, almost every single day, <laughs> unless I- I have a lot of other things going on in my life, which is the only reason I don't- I sometimes don't play every day, but definitely now that there's an event on. <laughs> I got the Inquiry class, Battlecruiser on Holodeck, and I made it my personal flagship. Oh, nice, nice. I did a thing and bought the LEGO Ghostbusters Ecto-1 set. I have not looked at, like, Lego sets in, like, a long time, so I don't know what that one is, unfortunately. <laughs> but if you send it to Discord at all, I would love to see it. Damn it, no! <laughs> Those fucking constriction anchors will fuck you up. <sighs> Yay. Yay. Good times. Yeah, I'm not sure. I have a, um... Uh, I know on one of my, um, uh, one of my tunes, I have a T5 voucher for a shit. And I still haven't even decided what I want for that one, because I'm super indecisive. So, like, I don't know how I'm going to, um, uh, choose when the event's up, but, like, towards the end of the year. No! Please, I just need some shield heals! Excelsior, awesome shit. I will look at that one. Oh, but I am on a, um... I am on a K... It is on a KDF tune. So... I don't know for sure if I can do cross-faction or not. I forget how that works. Ah! Uh, no, not this! Damn it. <sighs> I'm really need to pay attention for two seconds and beat the Vaudoir so I can move on. God. Some missions like this that start to piss me the fuck off. I also really need to get rid of this boarding party and have something useful there instead. That might help some. Constriction anchors. Damn it. Fuck. Oh, God. No, don't get me. Don't get me. Ah. 
I'm dying over here. <laughs> Oh god. Somehow still going. I don't know how, but I'm still alive. Those things took out my shields. Oh my god. Okay, well, guess now I'll catch up on chat. Gone. Gone. Okay. Where did I leave off? Uh, well, it's getting late off to bed. Um, good night. I will see you another time. Um, also, welcome. Welcome, Wayward Sojourner. Um... And why is Rick Bourbon on my Twitter feed? Go away, Rick. Oh, literally. I would hate that. John Belancey retweeted Rick Bourbon? Ew. Why, though? Like, was there a reason? Like, was it a valid reason? <laughs> That's what I want to know. Rick Berman kept us from having... Ah! Rick Berman kept us from having so many good things. So, like, I fucking hate that guy. It was a photo of them both in the third person. Oh, okay. Okay, so that's that's a see that's a valid reason um, to retweet to retweet Rick Berman. You know, I get that. They probably you know her. Oh. Greetings. I am Gaul, leader of the Vodwar supremacy. I am pleased to finally meet you. It appears your presence here in the that is understandable. You have a location in mind. There are no Hail Neelix. What a wonderful surprise. Is there anything I can do for you? Diplomatic negotiations. I am Starfleet's ambassador to the Delta Quadrant. All right. Well. Well, did you find a suitable location for our meeting? Laxians. All right. Well. Um, I like Bear. I, I have not seen Bear on Twitter, so I can't vouch for if he's done anything weird. Um, I have a lot of respect for him just in general, because I think that he's really the reason why DS9 was as good as it was. Um, because, like, here's the thing. Voyager was my favorite Star Trek. Uh, Imagine using a medical emergency as a trap. The Vodwar have no shame. Nope, they are ruthless little bitches. Prime, he'll do it again. Probably. It's good to see you again so soon. Yeah, that's the thing is like with um I don't know. I haven't uh seen It's so good to see Doctor, it's been 30 years. 30 years. Hey. <laughs> He's a fucking hologram like <laughs> We have a bit of time before
before we begin, we're giving the Vaudoir a fine Talaxian feast to help ease the tension. Doctor, you must tell me all you've been up to. Oh, Felix, I couldn't. Not with the Vaudoir here. But I suppose it is important that you hear. Why are they all walking in slow motion? Our last meeting, and my brilliant research was. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking background where they're just like <laughs> they're having a conversation in the back here Brax and I agreed to never mention the incident Neelix doesn't have the liquor today <laughs> fair Bodwar have finished the appetizers and are waiting for you oh, well we had better get going we can talk more later they had appetizers <laughs> No, but what I was saying before is, like, I have so much more respect for, um, for Bear and, like, the DS9 writing team just because, like, um, I used, like, Voyager used to be my very favorite series. In a lot of ways, like, I still really love Voyager, but the more I watch it, the more I'm just, like, the writing on DS9 is just so much better. Like, even, like, a lot of the reason I like Voyager is for the characters, but I'm, like, constantly thinking of all the things that I wish would have happened to the characters instead. So I'm like, look, like, yes, I'm more attached to them, but, like, the writing is not as, as good. Like, uh, just objectively, it's not, unfortunately. <laughs> Do you remember Chef Jolax from the last time you were here? And Berman had a lot. The Vaudois, their fabulous appetizers. And uh, Berman had a lot more to do with uh, a lot more to do with Voyager than he did with DS9. So yeah, I am I am absolutely not a fan of Rick Berman at all. <laughs> like, is this the conference room? Hopefully, I don't know if Neelix ever really has the liquor. Oh, so no, so. Um, see these cups in all their hands? <laughs> like, Neelix had one of these, um, in the, in the mission that I was doing yesterday. He had this in his hand, like, the whole time. So we were, we were saying that was the liquor. What the hell is he doing, though? I don't think, he... ah! Bro, no. Neelix, what? What drugs are you on? Why do you keep falling from the ceiling? Whatever. Okay. I'm just gonna ignore it. Cursed Neelix, literally. Yeah, like, Voyager kind of, like, uh, is just so hit and miss for, like, episodes I actually really like. Like... I don't have, like, I can't find major issues in most of the episodes from DS9. Like, I don't watch it and be like, that was a horrible choice. But I can watch almost every episode of Voyager and be like, at least once, be like, eh, that was kind of questionable, you know? It's kind of like opposite. Like, most of DS9 is fine, and like, most of Voyager is not fine. But I think I just, I think I just really like Voyager because of Janeway um, being the captain, not gonna lie. So, like, yeah. But, yeah, I know, like, um, I know the thing, the thing, too, that was an issue with Berman is, like, because of, like, um, I don't know, I feel like he kind of, I, I feel like it kind of just all kind of went to his head, which, you know, it happens, but, like, yeah, I didn't, I didn't like how, um, he kind of just tried to take over too many things, because I don't think, in terms of, like, the great writers we've had on Star Trek, I don't think he's one of the best ones, especially because Berman had the most writing credits on, uh, Enterprise, and, yeah, um, we all know how most of Enterprise went, like, they had, they had some amazing episodes, and then other times it was like, God, what are you doing? Uh, <laughs> but, you know. I must say, your Talaxian friend how do we feel about these guys next? <laughs> Our meeting is long overdue. As do I. My people are damaged in crisis. We are. Do you know why we fight the Kabali? Their world was once a Vadwa colony, one of our largest. And there is still a large cache of stasis tubes on the planet. The Kabali would rather watch us die and use our corpses as fuel for their unnatural corruption. 
Yeah, the Kabali are kind of kind of creepy. Don't we have a right to survive as well? There can be no peace. There not can be they... no peace. I'm All right. Suggesting we are weak. That we do not try to pacify me. We will have our retribution. You have my offer. <laughs> peace. You know nothing of what it means to be Vadwar. He's gonna try to fuck some shit up. Too much to make peace. Do you expect us to forget the destruction of our cities, the massacres of our people? The food's almost ready. What would you all like for your main course? You need to understand even the smallest fraction of our anger. These cutscenes are kind of cursed. Oh no. No! What He's a good. little bitch. I'm sorry. Fuck this guy. We knew this. We knew this. We have to resort to the fanfic writing Alexian. couple that did amazing no, work in fourth season for Kim and You've Joel jumped Lynch. the shark. And for you. Then we are not done. Are you talking about Enterprise, I assume? He's got theirs. That was a reference to the rights. Okay, I was just making sure because a couple different things were happening there. And now the Talaxians are getting murdered. Now we're going to have to go murder some Bodwar. Time only to save one group? I do not envy your choice. I would go with you, but I cannot leave Neelix alone. And time is of the essence. I'm no! Well, I'm going. I can't sit by and All right, let's fuck friends. up some shit. Mm -hmm. Just a heads up, if you heard that the mission Revelations is bugged? Which one is that? Is it in Delta Quadrant? Because if it's not, then... It's not in Delta Quadrant. I'm not super worried about it right now. I'm like, eh. <laughs> but yeah, I had not heard that before. Oh, it's the next one? Wait, where? Which one? All that glitters. Where is it? I don't see it, but guess I will find out! <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're further on than I thought. Yeah, I... Yeah, I was like, I, I don't think I did that one. Like, I don't think that one's coming up next. Ah! Gotta jet and get some COVID test kit, sadly. Oh no. That's not fun. Hopefully you do not have COVID. <laughs> But thank you for coming. <laughs> Thought you were doing reunion. Oh, no, no, no. I did reunion last stream. Boy, which one is Revelations? Is that the one in between? I didn't see that one there, but... Oh, this one there did. Okay, I know what... I know which one that is. I had to think for a second. I never- I'm so bad with titles. I don't know. <laughs> hmm. 
The one with the turret. Yeah, I did that one in my last stream. My wife's in healthcare, so it's more of a precaution. She got notified of an exposure possibility, but tested negative. Oh, okay, that's good. As long as... <laughs> I somehow have managed to not get COVID um, this whole time. But they may be safer here. And I'm still like... Uh... Ah! And I'm still like over here like, I really do not want COVID. <laughs> like, I really don't. They're probably all gonna be dead, because we only got to pick one. I don't know. I feel like this mission is always kind of horrifying. Yep, they killed him. Fuck you, Vodwar. <laughs> they deserve their shit fucked up so much. Like, they have valid reasons to be salty, but it's not nice to kill people. <laughs> They're all dead. Doctor, you have to save them. These are my friends. Yeah, I completed it yesterday. Was it bugged yesterday? They are beyond my help now. I don't know. I'm sorry. R.I.P. them. Let's go kill the ones that are responsible. Then we can still save the others. We have to get to the shuttle in the cargo bay. I think I'd be rich if I counted how many times I've dropped F-bombs at Thawd War. <laughs> Felt that. They suck so much. How is everyone? I am pr doing pretty good. Thank you for asking. My injury that I had doesn't fucking hurt, which is good. This is what I'm trying to shoot. Yeah, if a lot of people, including me, are experiencing a bug where some of the Vodwar drop pods fail to appear or are destroyed. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, I have encountered, right when um, the last update happened, I actually encountered a redshift bug that was absolutely wild. When I was like, oh, I can't play blue shift because it's bugged, I'm just gonna play redshift again. And then it was bugged. <laughs> like, god, it was a time. Sorry you got injured, but glad it doesn't hurt. Yeah, I have been injured since like Wednesday, um, but I just realized Sunday that it was a more serious problem uh, than I thought it was. To join us here but the but the big thing was that um More Vodwar, on the, way. the big thing that was that um i just uh, like have been really careful with it um because part of the reason it got so bad is because i was <laughs> being a little stupid <laughs> as i am Was that the one where Tilly just died? I mean, she didn't even necessarily die. She just literally didn't spawn. Like, More on the way. with no explanation. Hologram, I'd be worried. Well, good for you that you're a hologram. <laughs> we all have our moments to be fair, myself included. Yeah, no, fair. I just, I just, um... I just feel like it's particularly a thing with me just because I'm afraid they may be too much for you to handle. Well, what a bet. <laughs> the Ture are here to assist. After this, the Ture are here. I got both versions, Frozen Tilly and Dead Tilly. I didn't know there was multiple versions. But anyway, like I was saying about my shoulder, I had like 
Like I said, I knew it was technically injured since, um, like, Wednesday-ish. But, ah, he's right by me. But, um, I had, like, a five-hour-long dance practice on Friday and didn't really... I didn't really, like, accommodate myself very well for the amount of suffering that I was in. <laughs> so... That's why it ended up getting so bad. And then I had like shooting pain up it. Oh yeah, and then all most of the day uh Saturday I was doing a Star Trek LARP, which was was fun, but like it is it does involve a lot of like sitting for a while, standing for a while, you know. We are repaying a debt. Our ships are currently engaging the A raid! Welcome! Welcome raiders! Thank you to Conrex for the raid. I suggest you do the same. We will provide cover for All right, we get it. Not now. I want to collect my loot. Need to get that salvage credit for all the stuff. Alrighty. Cardassian Tasper egg? What is that? Ah, oh, it is a food. Do we actually know in canon if, um, Cardassians lay eggs or if they have live births? I knew this meeting was a farce. The word Vaudoir means fool in ancient Talaxian. Did you know that? You this has destroyed any chance of an accord between us. All right, well, fuck you too, I guess. <laughs> live births as far as I'm aware. But that's the thing is, do we know? Like, was it specifically stated? Because like, for reasons, uh, I was looking up if there was anything canon on like how reptilian Cardassians are basically. And a lot of people seem to think that uh, they have like all the equipment essentially of lizards. So in which case, how would they give live births? Because they gotta be some sort of, like, hybrid somehow. Um, of, like, mammalian parts and, like, lizard parts in order for them to be able to give live births. Otherwise, they would lay eggs. But I feel like they would have mentioned it if they laid eggs. I don't know. That feels like something worth mentioning. <laughs> I don't know, I have seen- I have seen some weird shit. <laughs> now I'm pondering this. See, I have been pondering this too because I, um, I am very confused about the, uh, Cardassians. I don't think Rick Berman would have approved eggs. I don't give a fuck what Rick Berman thinks. I- I don't care what he thinks. I only care about the truth. <laughs> I don't remember anything saying anything about it in lore. Yeah, see, that's the thing is like I don't think anybody said anything. So now, so now it's up to the current writers if they want to make any of that canon. Oh, okay. Actually, though, no. But here, here is one hint we have. We know for a fact. God damn it! That I got. I have too much. I have too much on my bullshit now. Um, no, because we know in canon that Cardassians and Bajorans are genetically compatible somehow. <laughs> Hi, Carrie. You joined us just at the right time. I'm about to go on a rant about Cardassian reproduction systems. Anyway, so like like I was saying, we know that somehow somehow uh, Cardassians and Majorans are um, like genetically compatible somehow, which would assume that Cardassians have enough like mammalian stuff. Um, that, uh, they would be able to 
reproduce with Bajorans who are like mammals. So, therefore, that means that Cardassians wouldn't be that much like lizards. They, they physically couldn't be, or they wouldn't be able to reproduce with Bajorans. So in that case, all these people who keep making like Garrick and Dukat have like lizard dicks, like that that's just not something that would be a thing, right? <laughs> Like, all I'm saying is, <laughs> though I'm pretty sure that a lot of the reason why, I think people don't think about the right things when they are writing fan fiction, because I think everybody wants to make it into like, a, a, you know, a lizard thing, like a, like some sort of like a weird, like whatever for, for lizards, but then, um, but then like, but then you you want them to like also give birth with Bajorans, but fanfic writers don't care about that. <laughs> they just care about the you know part that leads to making a baby. <laughs> they they're like yeah you know we we just put this part and then forget about the things that actually have to make sense in order for them to reproduce you know. <laughs> Anyway, um, of course, Wilkins and humans have completely different blood chemistry yet can interbreed, but that's the thing is, that kind of feels like something that, you know, they're at least both mammals? Ish? Um, so like, theoretically, you know, I'd let that one slide. Um, but also the thing too, yeah, the thing too is I think that, uh, with the, with humans and Vulcans, the Vulcan DNA kind of uh, tends to take over in a lot of cases. Like, it's more dominant, and so it would... Um, so it would kind of solve some of those problems, because it would just... Like, a lot of the human-Vulcan hybrids we've seen look mostly Vulcan, right? So, yeah, that, that makes sense to me. But, um... If you have a fundamental difference in the methods of reproduction, then then I start to have then I start to ask some questions. <laughs> Look, this is precisely the reason that my streams are rated mature. This is this is exactly the reason. Cause this happens like at least once a week. <laughs> it. You also came at a very, uh, a very good time. <laughs> um, I mean, I guess I was kind of done with my Cardassian theories, but any, anyone want me to weigh in on any other, um, any other controversial topics in canon? Cause like, I will, I'm not afraid. <laughs> Breen birth? We don't even know what the breen look like! Thank you for following, Robocombo. Welcome to the club! We don't even know for sure what the breen look like, but the thing is, it, where they have, like, the refrigeration suits, there could be literally anything under there. Um, they vaporize when you open their suits, too? Breen are born with the suits on, but they can't be born with the suits on! That is the- that- that- that literally can't work like that. But if we assume that the Breen homeworld is, if we assume that the Breen homeworld, ooh, fuck, where is the Vadwar? Oh, we're done, we're done with the Vadwar. Yes. When the Vadwar attacked our homeworld, now we have come to assist you. How could they do something so horrible? We're no threat to them. We've done nothing but welcome. Oh wait, nope. And they will be avenged. I'm gonna take them out. I agreed to let the Vaudoir come here. I put my people in danger. This is my responsibility. With your permission, I'll lead the survivors back to New Talix. I've been in contact with the USS Blackwell. They boarded the freighter in the Shenda system. Gaul has shown his true nature. 
I expected he was not dealing in good faith. But nevertheless, we had to make an attempt to find a peaceful solution to our problems with the Bodwar. Sense we tried. I'll never... Okay, here we go. Anyway. Uh, visor colors, I mean. See, that's the that's the thing, too, is the, um... We, we don't necessarily know that the Breen have only two genders, or, like, any gender, you know? Like, um... They could just all be. They could just all be the same. We don't. We don't know. Like. Oh God! I hate these patrols. Anyway. No, there's three of them. Anyone want to do patrols? Um, what's the specialty thing on that ship from Romulan ships or, um, I don't have much of anything special on this one because it's just one of the basic default boring ships. <laughs> so, um, I'm still like working on it to make it more, I actually probably could upgrade these mines. That would probably help a lot. I didn't realize I had that in there, actually. We might need that against the Vaudoir. Yeah, anyway, um... What, where was I going with this? I do not like those uh, dual beam things, but I haven't gotten anything better yet. Yeah, I don't really have any beam weapons in reserve. We do have... Yeah, they're not really any better than these oh well we'll just we'll just call it a work in progress <laughs> okay anyway um now what okay who wanted to do patrols i'm in for patrols uh da, 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 do. team invite so oh nope we're not the same But it says Romulan. Oh, are you a uh, KDF aligned, perhaps? That could be why. My specialty, I just meant the skill tray above your duty officer skills. My ship uses a sensor thing for a specialty. I like the Romulan shockwave thing more. Oh, bridge obstacles. Oh, like this. Okay, this thing. I thought you meant like the specialty like console or something. I was like, I don't have anything. Yeah, mine is unfed, unfortunately. Sorry. <laughs> but we do all we do um have to go directly to the, each location. Also, that's the annoying thing about patrols that I hate the most. Is that we have to both join from the thing. But yeah, I love the Singularity Core ability stuff. It's very fun. I have so many options, too. Come on, let me have the... Oh, it's because I'm not to it yet. I was like, where's my mission start? <laughs> this is fine. There it is. Okay. There we go. Anyone else want to join the patrol squad? Ugh. 
wear shorts today and I'm sticking to my chair. <laughs> Even though it's cold in here, somehow I'm like still sweating. Probably from, it's probably because like my legs are warm but my upper part is cold because the house is cold but like there's kind of some heat coming off of my uh, PC ever since I started, um, basically ever since I started putting more uh, fans in, like it tends to blow out all the hot air towards me. <laughs> Could join also. Um, uh, team invite. Ah, I'm horrible at. I'm horrible at the social aspects of this game. I'm like, how do things work? Okay, now we gotta have a team invite. There we go. I got it. Okay. Now we all have to be here by it. That's the shitty part, as I was saying about patrols, unfortunately. <laughs> so. You don't have to be there? How does it work then? Do, is there a... Oh, can you find it from the patrol thing? Okay, as long as, as long as you're set to all go. I just know that we have to just uh, all queue in like around the same time and I hate it. I wish it was just like TFOs though where only one person had to click it. It's very silly. Alright. Well I was framed. I stay out of our way. We're here for the goods on that ship. Our contract doesn't prohibit the use of You are hereby debt the Hazari claim. Okay, well irrelevant. Whatever. This was never going to end well anyway. Patrols are just very boring. I like having having a nice little team for us. <laughs> Goes a lot faster and is more fun. <laughs> At least it's not the Voth. The Voth suck way more. Oh my, that was quite the explosion. The Voth are so tanky, true. That's the thing, I hate Voth and Vodwar. Which is like the main two things you fight in the Delta Quadrant, which is why I hate it so much. <laughs> like I forgot I hate it. I, I forgot I hated it until I was playing it again. And then I was like, oh, I hate this. easy that was in comparison to all the other shit I've been doing. <laughs> hmm. Well, 
they're only tanky with their invulnerable shield. Yeah, no, I hate the I hate the shields. I hate the um I hate the shields. I hate like the shield drain that they do. I hate all of it. Was this patrol always part of the story of patrols? I am not sure, honestly. Um, but next up we are going to the Nular system for Gone Dark. They pop like soap bubbles. <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny, but <laughs> like that's just a funny way of putting it. <laughs> Okay. Are we all ready for Gone Dark? Here, I'll, I'll wait a second for you to catch up. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Not the dreaded slow loading screen. My god. Cursed. Good to see you. Let's We've learned they plan to ambush us when we reach Counterattack the Bodwar. Disable one of their. Sh we want to locate one of their. All right, we got it. Bodwar, which are not very fun, but God, I got caught in it. <laughs> Time to acquire their data. We have the data. And come Uh oh. Not in the same one? So I had to let you enter first? That's so weird! I don't know what's going on, but that does explain why there's only two of us for some reason! We should expect heightened resistance. Initial analysis of the- I don't even care. I want this over and done with. I- this- the story is never interesting enough for me to care, except for- there is a couple that I actually like. Like, um... Some of the Ferengi ones are kind of funny. But like, fuck the Vodwar, man. Continuing on. Oh no, I hate the way that like patrols work in general because it's always so confusing. Why is it zero percent but still flying? Oh, 
No, not the construction anchor! <laughs> Why is it like above me? I hate when this happens. It appears the Vodwar aren't amused by our angling efforts. I'm afraid not. There's another one. This isn't even the last patrol. <laughs> Well, here we go again. Oh god. Oh god. What is holding on to me? God. This is fine. The best patrols is trouble over Terra and Ninth Rule. I would agree. Yeah, and they're not like ridiculously hard either. Like some of these Delta Quadrant ones, I'm like, I hate the Vodwar so much. I hate th these things. Why are they not shooting? Okay, here we go. I'm probably gonna be maxed out by the time I finish these patrols. God. God. that all of them now guys good let's discuss what's going on here judging by the company you're keeping ah commander jerak so i see oh good but more activity very well we'll set cool <sighs> don't mind commander jerak yes well between us i hope i'll take all the luck okay don't mind Com yes i'll take all the luck i can there we go okay all right, one more. <sighs> Brothra system? Brothra system? I don't know. <laughs> mm, wrong thing. This one.
right, and then... That's a common. We don't need it. We can do that for this one. All right. I have entered first, so this time there shouldn't be any issues. I'm Logan Curtis of the Borg Cooperative. My vessel has taken heavy damage in battle, and several critical systems are on the verge of failure. Oh, hello. If you still want to come, you can probably join now. It looks like you ended up in a different one again. I don't know why this keeps happening. Thank you for the aid. Species 6339M we shall follow your system. lead. My vessel was equipped to deal with I wonder why, like that's so weird. Yeah, I don't know. Cause we were together in the first one. Incoming Bodwar. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. This is this is part of why. Um, this is part of why. Just uh, generally, like <laughs> I hate patrols. Like I don't understand how they work a lot of the time. Like I don't understand why they work differently than TFOs. I don't understand any of it. <laughs> But it could be a glitch. It could be just a bug. We don't know. You and the cooperative helped us. We will require. We shall follow you to recover our ally. Get him. Never had this happen. Normally we just queue in. See, that's that's why I don't know. I <laughs> I literally can't tell you because I don't understand how any of this works. <laughs> It's a trap. The cooperative will not be Get through this one's stupid shields. Cluster torpedo I put in recently. It's very nice.
about this again. Ah! I saw that coming. Operation Wolf Time, hopefully I don't run into the endless pain of bugs. I know, it's been that kind of day, I guess. <laughs> the brain transphasic cluster torpedo? No, it's the, um... It's the Vodwar one that I just put in. Vodwar cluster torpedo. I could probably get something better, but it's a little bit better than the... At least it works with my, like, high yield abilities, because that was the problem I was having before with the Harpang torpedo I was still holding on to. Oh. Uh, people must see that these I believe we have taken an important step toward a truce with species 63 with the Octanti. <laughs> with species 63. Uh wait a minute. <laughs> I'm not reading any <sighs> That's a little funny. Okay, how was our last one? My shoulder is starting to hurt again. Gotta love that. Um I really want to finish that plasma. Familiar with the Kobali. Their homeworld is Are we finally to the Kobali? That might be a good stopping point. This kind of is like a... I feel like this is kind of a good, like, transition mission that kind of leads into the next part of the arc, so... Oh, what's going on? <laughs> Flying into the sun. This is fine. Um, but yeah, um, that'll probably, that'll probably be all from me today. But how do I, how do I drop the team? Oh, thank you for the host. It is appreciated. Um... There we go. I was like, can I just leave the team? But I'm the team owner, so I don't know how this happens. But anyway, um, thank you so much, everyone, for coming. Um, sorry I am cutting it a little bit short today, but I did warn everybody this would probably happen this week um, so that I can heal my shoulder. Um, and hopefully I'll have some new YouTube content edited soon that will be Star Trek themed that we can all enjoy um, as well. Um, very excited to make some stuff, you know? <laughs> but you can follow me on Twitter and or join my Discord if you would like to see my schedule every week. Uh, I always post it to Discord first and sometimes I forget to post it to Twitter. So Discord is the most reliable source for my schedule, unfortunately, as it currently is. Um, but yeah, I really appreciate everyone for coming. Um, I gotta figure out who else is live to see if I can do a raid to someone. But let's see, let's see. Oh, there's so many people live. Send you all to someone who with a uh, who doesn't have as many viewers at the moment. Okay, I will I will find someone. Um thank you again everyone for coming and stick around for the raid.